Here are the 10 Genshin players you will meet on your journey in Genshin Impact. We all know that Genshin Impact's player base is a very diverse crowd. There's screenshotters, meta slaves, hardcores, casuals, filthy casuals, lore nerds, face jumpers, and so many more. Let's walk you through some of the more fun and interesting examples. Number 1. The Mr. 4 Stars Are Always Enough Somehow this glorious bastard is just as good as you with your 5 star squad freeze comp. What gives? Is it the artifact sets? Maybe it's those crit ratios he has. Are those 4 star weapons too? Wait, is that Sing Cho C0? No, that can't be C0. Why does he do so much damage? Sometimes a rare example will appear using Kaya and Noel on their rosters. Watch out for these guys. They absolutely crush any abyss patch and have more primo gems than you and your battle pass can afford. There's a 50% chance that they're using Sing Cho or Chong Yun in their team. Number 2, The Whale Lord. C6, they just feel different, my dude. You wouldn't understand. Once you get Staff of Homa and C6, they're a whole different character. Bro, let's be real. If we could all play $4,000 on C6 and R5, we'd all be using it. We know you're either deeply in debt or pretty well off in life. You don't have to flaunt that C6 Raiden Shogun with C6 Gujo Sara and R5 Brass Cutter and. <laughs> These guys just dominate everything in their path and still complain that the character they spent 5 months of rent on isn't doing enough damage. They have a C48D look guaranteed. The Abyss Flexor 36 star Abyss dude! That team is cute but can you 36 star Abyss though? Uh dude you can't 36 star Abyss with that team. This guy does not give any fucks. Guaranteed to be in SpiralAbyss.org or Genshin Lab getting off to whoever has the highest pick rate. Like an Asian parent, the Abyss Flexor only focuses on one thing and that's to show off their success. I mean, see that 36 star clear. Almost always using Kazuha and Bennett. Extra points for Mona and Venti. There's a 60% chance he's a theory crafting member. Don't forget, it's the primos that matter, not the cloud for clearing it. By the way, did I mention 36 stars? The lore nerd. He's that one person of the group that knows everything about Genshin. One minute you talk about how cute Venti is. A few seconds later, they're saying that Venti could be some weird god named Sheesh the Hole and that he's hiding secrets from you. They say how unimpressed they were with the recent patch because it lacked lore, and then mention some obscure story that you've never heard heard of and says that it's the best lore from that patch. What patch? Oh come on, it was from patch 1.3.53.6.2 squared. You know when you went to that toy factory with that weird harbinger and played hide and seek with that annoying little kid? But be careful though, these guys have cleared abyss since release and haven't missed a single day logging in. They're always in game. Always. Number 5, the don't spend guy. Here he is, your friend from Arknight slash FGO. In his AR-59 account, saving for only his waifu or has bando. There's a 90% chance he's using national team and says free to play by the way at least 3 times in voice chat. He will mention to save primos every time you see him. And the one day you see him playing Arknights or FGO and you see his whale account, holy f don't look at it, oh my god that's a whale account, okay, wow. Mr. Slash Miss so much easier. Dude, how do you build that? I wanna build someone easier. The artifacts are so easy to farm, bro. I can use it on anyone. It's so easy, bro. The artifact to character ratios, bro. These guys cannot deal with farming for a single character and had to farm something that assists with their basic needs. They're almost always using Noblesse or Emblem of Severed Faith, and you're not gonna lie, you're a little jealous of their abyss stats with those artifacts. The Jank Whaler. Sorry, but why do you have every 5 star C6 and R5 if you're going to do less damage than a Hydro Slime fighting Abyss Heralds? That damage from the tutorial is just a demo. Come on man, get those numbers up! This variation of players have artifacts so bad that even treasure hoarders won't take it from them. But looks can be deceiving because sometimes you'll find the damage only bro. Keep it 1 million bro, 1 million damage minimum bro. 1 hit, Mona, Kazuha, Bennett. I wouldn't use that character unless it can 1 hit with 1 million damage bro. These guys got the numbers down to a T. The perfect 1 hit comp used in the perfect place to do it. He's found his purpose in life and that's to only one hit something once and click retry. Typically has a lot of time to build the perfect 1 to 2 ratio of crit and crit damage and has a lot of money to buy every C6 R5 in the game. But he frowns upon you for whaling or spending money in gacha. Don't use that money that you know you're gonna need bro. But you might enjoy being with him more than our next one which is the fake. These guys are the nail in the coffin of Genshin that just won't be nailed down. They're a rare breed that only few will be unfortunate enough to meet. Sometimes they're a hodgepodge mix of everything that I just mentioned. They flex their R5s and R6s like it's a novelty item and brag about clearing the abyss so easily. But once you open their account or play with them, by god, walnut squad with 30k charge attacks, freeze builds that take 5 minutes to beat spiral abyss, national teams that can't use bursts, and even hyper teams that can't one hit over world ruined guardians. And don't get me started on lore. At least the jank whaler knows he's garbage and just wants to buy off characters. And for our final spot, the disc 
Discord Sensei. These guys are a different breed. No, they exist on a different plane of existence. Hey guys, I'm new here. What's the right build for- It's gonna depend if you build them DPS or burst DPS. You're gonna need derp of head and at least 30% crit chance so that 50% proc can work on- How is this guy so knowledgeable? The Discord Sensei is the absolute one and only being that you can put your trust into. He's got that simple anime profile and the link to his Reddit account with 100,000 karma to prove it. He's got more knowledge than that little gotcha baby brain of yours can digest. And for some reason, he's also in the blue archive chat. Hmm, weird. Thanks for checking out this video. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new and head-shearing content every week, and you're gonna wait for my next video, right? Hey, thanks, bye!